What's up guys, I'm back with another Warframe video and today I want to make a video on this monster of a bow that I was messing around with in the simulacrum and this thing is crazy. Now I haven't actually played with it but if you're playing stealth missions or something where single target damage once again it's going to be in your favor, you know, taking out targets one by one in a stealthy manner. This bow is pretty cool, it's silent won't attract any attention and you get to staple your enemies to the wall now i discovered with this bow that this thing is a slash demon if you can get it right okay i wanted to stop the video here and say this is not like a metal weapon it's just a bow with a single target it's not aoe but there's another bow that's very similar that's really good it has high slash and high crit chance and it's the dread it's dropped from the stalker it's a very nostalgic weapon of mine you could definitely go check it out Okay, so the first config I wanted to show is just pure slash, no viral. I'm using Fang Fusilade and Speed Trigger just for the quicker draw time. Everything else is pretty basic, but it, it's not like consistent. But when the stars align, this thing is crazy. Look at that slash. Right, this is level 110, and that was with the the punch through killed it. Oh my god! So that's two heavy gunners, one shot. So this, this is what will happen to you. You'll just get one slash proc, which is still enough to one shot the heavy gunner. Albeit not very fast, but when you do get a good crit with a slash, it will, <laughs> it will delete your target. Depending on uh, if the stars align or not, like I said. So, oh, I killed the target behind him. Um, after seeing that first config, I tried to actually put viral on it. Uh, the slash isn't going to be as big though, but if the viral does proc, it's not as uh, it's not really a problem. So look, <laughs> this is Hunter Mumu with viral. Look, oh my god! So obviously the second config, you're going to get more, hopefully more procs like that. Yeah. So this should be more reliable. Oh my god, look at that 53k slash proc. Oop, that was a headshot. But yeah, these these guys just get deleted. Okay. And don't mag my I mean don't mag <laughs> don't uh don't mind my ugly mag Halloween themed <laughs> fit right now. Um, so this, I put rifle aptitude for the status chance as well. So actually, wait, yeah, I should probably show you this because this is probably a really weird looking build. But it's just, you know, serration, split chamber, point strike, vital sense. So crit and damage. Uh, no multi-shot at all. Um, just straight uh, <laughs> Hunter Mumu. And I should probably, instead of status chance, I should probably put multi-shot. That actually would make a lot of sense. Wait, <laughs> this is why you uh, mess around in the simulacrum. Okay, no slash. No slash again. All right, yeah, we're not getting a, a slash. Oh, there we go. That thing, that would have. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. Not bad. Oh, wow. That was pretty big. Pretty big crit. Okay, so multi shot and, and aptitude is kind of the same. Because if you think about it, the more bullets you have. Technically, the more chance you have at proccing, because I'm at 73% status chance with with more bullets or more arrows in this case, rather than having like 112% with only two arrows at the most, and sometimes one arrow. This thing, and if you have a ribbon and like you put like some galvanized mods, I'm sure you can get some. Crazy, crazy. Actually, yeah. Let's let's mess around with that. Um, where's point strike? 
They should have like a f mods favorites that you could just put whatever. Like you could put like your favorite mods on. It would make it would make sense, right? Um, I'll have to put just a regular infected clip, I guess. Okay. Oh my god, this thing is actually just a demon on its own, like... <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why there's, there's stacked right here. That's two. Oh, that was. That's two heavy gunners, by the way. Oh wait, no, that one's. There, those. Are, that one is one. These. These are just one heavy gunner. I lied. Wait, there's two right there. What the heck? This thing is kind of nasty. Okay, so the DiQ has just um, gained a lot more respect. In my, dude, this this night it's only three forma. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I should have drew it back all the way. Like, look. <laughs> if you haven't used the DiQ and you're looking for a fun weapon to use in stealth missions or just looking to use a bow in general, this weapon is very fun and it even feels really strong not only with the damage but it literally says in the description of the DiQ that it takes great strength to draw back but provides added power and range to every shot and what they mean by that is the slower drawback speed of the arrow just makes it feel like really powerful i don't know how to explain it but it just feels stronger and even with the bows like accuracy that arrow is spot on there's like no like arc at all it's like a la it just goes straight to the point like straight to where your reticle is and this is let's see that is the wrong button 68 meters still going straight to the reticle like it feels powerful to use so this one definitely give this a try check it out do some theory crafting with builds and if you have a ribbon for the DiQ, <laughs> definitely have some fun with it and slap it on um, you could go a lot of ways with the DiQ, as we saw and discovered corrosive with just a straight crit is pretty amazing and slash does work as well if you want to do a slash build some steel path but it would be more like spy, whatever's suited for it, right? It's not an AOE weapon. It's not gonna one-shot an entire crowd of enemies. It's just a bow at the end of the day, a traditional style bow. Nevertheless, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support and all the comments on my other videos. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate y'all.